Okay. Um, hi, I'm Jennifer Anderson, Superstar Director of Radiant Rockstars, and it's Tuesday night, Rockstar Rally Night, my favorite night with all of you. And um, I'm so excited to talk with you tonight. Guys, I'm just sharing my best tips, my best business tips. And I was trying to narrow it down to a list of like five or 10 and, or like, I don't, I don't even know how many there are. Okay, so I hope you have pen and paper and you're ready to take notes. Um, I don't even know how many there are or like your iPad or whatever you cool kids do. I'm like, I'm old lady status and I like pen and paper. So that's my jam. Um, but I don't even know how many there are, but I couldn't really like eliminate them because some of them are really important. So I didn't want to narrow it down to five or 10, but I promise you, I'm not going to keep you forever. It's not like intense, but I'm just saying there's a lot of good stuff. Okay. So I've been with Sensi. For those of you who don't know, there are a lot of you who are new. So welcome to Sensi and welcome to Radiant Rockstars. By the way, that's something I wanted to share with you. Let me just tell you something today, right now. We have, are you ready for this? In Radiant Rockstars, so many consultants are in Radiant Rockstars. Last year at this time, there were 1,659 people in Radiant Rockstars, which is still insane and mind blowing, in my opinion. I think it's freaking bomb and awesome. Today, there's 2,935 people in Radiant Rockstars. Like, what even? I, I'm putting my glasses on for this one. Like, what even is happening? That's you guys. That's you. That's me. That's us. It's all of us together. And I love seeing us grow. Yeah, this deserves a this for sure. This is my favorite dance. Um, 2,900 plus. There's almost 3,000 people in Radiant Rockstars. Like what is even happening? And I'm so happy and I'm so excited for all of you. And I've seen your teams go from like one or two to 20. And I've seen your teams go from can't get over a hump at 75 to reaching 200. Like I'm just seeing amazing things come from all of you. And it's so exciting and so good. And in case I don't tell you enough, I love you. I'm crazy about you. And I feel like the luckiest person in the world to get to be surrounded by the likes of you. Cause I feel like you guys are the best seriously. And I don't deserve you. So anyway, there's a lot of us in Radiant Rockstars, which is so awesome. And to date for, what month are we in? August. For August only, so far, we have sold $792,000 worth of Sensi. <laughs> We've almost sold $800,000. That'll probably be $800,000 by the end of the night. And so we're going for our first million dollar month. This will be our first one ever. We came so close in May of this year or April. We were, we had, we were like 970,000. We were so close. And so I'm like, let's bust through that 1 million cap. Like we can do it. Um, and, uh, and there are 47, 47, 40, 49 directors and above in Radiant Rockstars. That's pretty dope. So I also know there are a lot of you reaching for that director title and I'm like so excited about the next few months and what's going to happen. Lots of you at Superstar Consultant getting paid at title, which means we're working towards director promotions, like so many good things. And um, I'm here for it. I hope you guys are too. So yeah, I know I see Laura Lazuka is like, oh, she's trying to hide over there. Like she's almost to director. She's so stinking close. Tessa Snyder is another one. She's on her way to director. Amy Duretti, I saw that. Amy Duretti is super, super close to hitting director. Yeah, okay. So many exciting things. I'm so excited. Okay, let's dive in. I've been with Sensi for almost 10 years. And there are a lot of things that I have learned in 10 years. And there are a lot of things that I have done wrong in my journey with Sensi. There are a lot of things that I've done right. And so what I hope tonight you will learn is you'll learn from my mistakes, learn from the things that I did wrong. And now let me tell you this too. I totally get sometimes you just need to make the mistakes yourself, right? You just need to do it wrong to see, okay, this is not the best way for me to do things. Or, and I was there too, right? I have been in that place where someone told me, don't do this. And I was like, no, 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 she doesn't know. I'm gonna do it my way. <laughs> like, what's that song? Like, I'm gonna do it my way. Like, that was me. Okay. And like, 
I didn't listen and it's okay and that's fine. Um, and that's fine if that's you because I am a rule breaker. So if you're a rule breaker like me, I get it. Like, I feel you. <laughs> Um, sometimes you have to do it yourself and learn. Um, and sometimes you might like do something in a totally different way that, um, you know, like works for you. So here are some things that I've learned, um, over the last almost decade with Sensi. Um, as you just heard, you know, our organization is pretty big. Um, I feel really great about where we're at in almost 10 years. And um, I feel really great about how many different people have seen success. So it's not just like me seeing success, but we have directors and star directors and superstar directors, and we've seen people quit their jobs and leave their careers and have savings accounts that never had savings accounts before. I've seen people take free vacations. So it's not just me, it's all of us together. Um, and so hopefully the things that we have all learned corporately will um, help you and give you the tools that you need to build a great business that pays you for a long time. So that's the goal is that you build a business with a strong, solid foundation that you can bring other people into, that you can grow big. And when I say big, I'm talking about teams in the thousands. Okay. That's what I mean. I don't mean teams of 10 or 20, and that's an amazing accomplishment, don't get me wrong, but I want you to think big, real big, what can happen, what that can look like, what your family life could look like, what your bank account, your paycheck, your dream life is totally possible through Sensi. okay? Whatever you want to achieve is totally possible through Sensi, and this is a vehicle to get you all of the things that you want in your life, okay? So, it's hard. It was hard for me to figure out like what should be number one. So these are really not in any specific order, but these are my best tips for building a big, strong business that pays you well. Okay. Isn't that the goal for all of us? Right. A big, strong business that pays us well. Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm going to say this now, tip number one, strive for excellence. Strive for excellence in everything you do. The world is full of mediocre people. The world is full of people who are consultants for whatever company, even Sensi consultants who are mediocre and who aren't striving for excellence. And striving for excellence will set you apart. I mean excellence in everything you do, in uh, the way you present yourself, in your marketing, strive for excellence in your education, strive for excellence in how versed you are about our product, strive for excellence in your speech, grow in public speaking, grow in being able to present the opportunity, grow, 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 strive for excellence in everything you do. I think it's incredibly important that we strive for excellence in all areas of our business. Um, and that really is something that sets big businesses apart from people who struggle. Okay. So I just want you to know that for sure. Um, mindset mornings, mindset mornings. I'm a huge fan of mindset mornings. Even if you are not a morning person, there is incredible value in waking up and setting your mindset right from the very beginning. So I don't care if for you that means that you have mantras that you say out loud, if there are things on your wall that you tell yourself, if that's a vision board that you look at every day. I don't care if mindset for you is, um, you know, seeing things that say like, okay, today I'm going to look on the bright side. Um, today I'm going to choose to be inspired. Um, I am strong. Um, today is a new day. Today is a fresh start. No matter what I did yesterday, I'm, I'm today's a brand new day. No matter what I did or didn't accomplish yesterday or what I missed today is brand new. Um, looking at each day and saying today offers incredible endless opportunity and deciding that day that you're going to take every opportunity that comes your way and that you are going to go for every opportunity that comes your way. I'm a huge fan of mindset mornings. Um, you can achieve your mindset morning, like getting your mind right and straight from the very beginning in so many different ways. 
and that's really personal to you. Like that can be sitting on your phone and you see an inspirational quote on Pinterest and it helps you set your mind right. That can be reading the Bible and doing your devotions. That can be um, reading a blog. That can be listening to a song. That can be having mantras. That can be so many things. So for every person that's different, but it's incredibly important that you, when you wake up, I don't care if it's noon or 5 a.m., when you wake up that you set your mind right because your mind is your most powerful business tool for the rest of your life. Your mind is your most powerful business tool and your mind determines your level of success. Okay. Let's talk about um, your uniqueness. It is so incredibly important that you are a unique consultant. And when I say unique, I don't mean the makeup company. I mean that you are individual, that you are special, that you are set apart in your own way. The only way for you to find uniqueness is to one, completely and truly know who you are. So if, if you feel clouded on your uniqueness or what is your brand or what is your mission, you need to dig deep and you need to find that out first. You need to find what makes you you, what makes you special. There's only one you in the world, only one you. There are hundreds of thousands of Sensi consultants, but there's only one you. So how do you take you and your uniqueness and work it into your business so that you stand, a, that you stand apart so that when people have options of who they can shop from, that they choose you. Uniqueness is incredibly important. It's part of creating your brand, sending your message, deciding who you are, what you want to be, what kind of message you want to send to the world. Uniqueness is incredibly important and it should ring in your marketing, in your conversations, on your social media. You, your uniqueness should shine through in every area of your business. Um, this is gonna sound really weird, but I seriously mean it, like be a good consultant. If you've been around for a while, you've heard me say, be a good consultant, like be a good consultant. What is a good consultant? A good consultant is a consultant who's educated, right? So that means you educate yourself on our products. If someone has a question about like, how long does a Sensi bar last? You know that answer because that's what a good consultant would do, right? Be a good consultant. Know the products through and through. Know where you find the products on your PWS. Know how you can help your customers check out. Know what can and can't be used for host rewards. Know the host reward matrix. Know exactly how much free and half price stuff your host gets if she has a $400 party. You should know that. That's what a good consultant does. And if your host has a $400 party, a good consultant would say, girl, let's get to 500 because you're gonna get a heck of a lot more at 500. A $400 party gives someone $40 in free credit and a $500 party gives them $75 in free credit. Their free credit percent goes from 10 to 15 at the $500 mark. So a good consultant would say, hey, let's shoot for 500 because you get a heck of a lot more free stuff. Be a good consultant, know what bundles together. Know how to help your customers save money. Anticipate your customers needs. Offer them combined and saves. Be a good consultant, know your stuff, know the workstation, know the training center, get on Tuesday training calls, show up to Rockstar Rally, read the consultant guide, read the product training guide, be a good consultant. It sounds weird, but there are lots of consultants who are not good consultants. There are lots of consultants who don't know their stuff. And I promise you an educated consultant is a successful consultant. Do you know that I have customers who literally have chosen me because I have the answers to their questions? Like how long does Sensi Bar last? And can I get a brick? And is Spider-Man still out of stock? There are people who have literally chosen me as their consultant because I'm able to answer their questions honestly and truthfully. And I never sugarcoat things or tell them something that's not true, right? Be a good consultant. 
Next thing, always be wearing your Scentsy goggles. So maybe you've heard this term from me before, maybe not, but you should always be wearing your Scentsy goggles. Scentsy goggles are basically the lens that you look through when you are having conversations with people, when you're just living your everyday life, when you are on social media. It means that you're a listener and you are looking for cues because people will give you cues and people will give you clues that they either want to buy products from you or that they need to host a party or that they want to join your team. Put, have your Scentsy goggles on. You should always be looking for people who need the Scentsy business opportunity. When you have Scentsy goggles on and someone says like, man, I'm really struggling to make ends meet right now. What do your Scentsy goggles say? They say this business opportunity can help this person, right? Or if someone says like, I really hate my job, I wanna quit my job, your Scentsy goggles say, this business opportunity can help this person. Or if someone says like, I really want this, but I can't afford it, your Scentsy goggles say, this person can host a party and get stuff for free and have price. If someone says like, oh my gosh, my house smells so bad because my dogs always go outside and they come in wet and they lay on the couch, your Scentsy goggles would say, this person needs Scentsy Fresh and Scentsy Pet products and let me introduce them to wax and warmers. Let me send them a free sample. Let me send them a catalog. Okay, those are Scentsy goggles. You should be literally wearing your Scentsy goggles every single day. And when you wear them every day, you don't miss an opportunity because Every single opportunity that you have, like I, I, I hate to see missed opportunities. I hate to see missed opportunities. If let's say, for example, I have a Scentsy booth at a show and somebody walks by and they stop at my booth, but my head is in my phone and I'm looking at my phone or I'm sitting down and I'm scrolling and I look at them and I think, oh, they're not interested. So I don't say anything or I just smile and wave instead of getting up and talking to them and asking them about what are their favorite scents? What do they know about Scentsy? That's a missed opportunity because you never know who that person knows or what they could spend or what they could spend later or if they want to join your team. Like I met people at an event who joined my team, no joke, five years later. I met someone at an event two years ago who just called me last night and wants another diffuser and more oils and wax bars. Two years from an event I met, like I met him once at an event two years ago, okay? And if I didn't talk to him or engage with him or keep his customer contact information, or if I didn't put my label on the room spray that he got because he called me from the label on the room spray that he got, that would have been a huge missed opportunity. And when you miss those opportunities, Guys, hear me very clearly. You are one person away from a very different life. One person away. One person is all it takes to completely change your business forever. You could recruit someone who becomes a superstar director. You could recruit someone who becomes a superstar director and challenges you to step up your game. You could recruit someone who becomes a director. You could recruit someone who recruits someone who recruits someone who recruits someone else who becomes a superstar director. You never know. Wear your Scentsy goggles all the time. When you're in the store, when you're listening to people's conversations, when you're having conversations, when you're scrolling through Facebook, if you see someone talking about anything, like I hate my job or I need money or I have to choose between keep homeschooling my kids and quitting my job or sending my kids to school and then like staying in work or I have to choose between like putting my kid in daycare and I spending my whole, pe my whole paycheck putting my kid in daycare, guys, are those lights going off, right? What does that say? This business opportunity is for those people. And that kind of stuff is all over your newsfeed, all over your newsfeed. And if you don't take the opportunity to reach out and connect with someone about that, it's because you're not wearing your Scentsy goggles, you need to be wearing your Scentsy goggles all the time. With that, it's being a listener, okay? You have to be a listener and an observer of people around you. What, what are people really saying? Read between the lines, read between the lines because there's so many opportunities that people aren't gonna come out and say, I wanna join Sense here, I wanna buy Sense here, I wanna host a party. Read between the lines, okay? It's an incredibly important part of 
building a successful business that gets big and pays you long term. Um, the next thing is personal development. Personal development is the foundation on which your business is built. Okay, you've heard me say that before. You cannot skip that step. And when I say personal development, I mean training. You should train yourself. Don't wait for your sponsor to train you. It's not their job. Don't wait for your director to train you. It's not their job. It is your job to train yourself. You have all the resources you could ever imagine to train yourself. You have Sensi Training Center, Tuesday training calls with corporate office. You have Rockstar Rally. If you're a director and above, you have a Monday leadership call with Sensi. If you're a superstar director, you also get weekly superstar director calls. You have a home office concierge. You have monthly calls with Heidi and Orville on top of leadership calls and Tuesday calls and Rockstar Rally. Then outside of Sensi, we have YouTube. YouTube is insane. And then there's podcasts and then there's books and then there's business building books about direct selling industry in general, about recruiting, about selling, about how to be a better salesperson, about how to build a great business, about online marketing. Train yourself. That's part of personal development. Business training. If you're like, how do I do accounting? How do I do my books? You need to go learn, you need to read, you need to train yourself. If you're like, how do I have a marketing plan? You need to go learn, you need to go read, you need to go train yourself. You can also look at people who are successful and emulate what they're doing. I'm not saying be just like them. I will never tell you to do exactly what someone else is doing, but it is 100% a great idea to emulate the behaviors of people who are successful. Emulate their behaviors. Remember the first thing I said, or one of the first things I said was be like unique though, and be yourself and be you and find what makes you you. You have to take the behaviors of the successful and make them yours. Make them yours in your own unique way, but emulate the behaviors of people that are doing it. Emulate the behaviors of people you want to be like. Find people who are crushing it and do what they do. Um, personal development means sharpening your skills. If you feel like recruiting is hard for you, which how many of you feel like recruiting is hard or recruiting is a hang up or recruiting is an opportunity for you. Like every hand goes up every time, right? Because we have stupid hangups with recruiting. We all do it, but look, recruiting, there are books on recruiting. There are YouTube on recruiting. There are podcasts on recruiting. There are so many trainings on recruiting from me, from Sensi and the training center all over the place. Sharpen your skills. And the best way to sharpen your skills is to go learn, but you have to practice. So you have to try and try and try and fail and try again and fall and try again and fall and try again until you succeed. Sharpen your skills. Personal development also includes things like drinking water, getting sleep, moving your body, eating good, eating well, whatever the right word is, eating well, eating things that fuel your body. Don't get me wrong. I love a chocolate chip cookie too. Okay. Clearly I love a few chocolate chip cookies, but it's important that you fuel your body with things that are going to give you energy. This is all part of personal development. In personal development, you also have mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, it's all of those things. These are incredibly important parts of building a big successful business that gives you big paychecks. Also, when I'm talking about emulating behaviors of others, let me, let me make this clear too. You don't just have to like go find superstar directors. Sometimes you have a new team member on your team who's freaking crushing it and you need to emulate the behaviors of your brand new essential consultant. Okay. Some of you people who've been around for a while, you forgot the passion of being new. You forgot the passion of like starting a new business and what it looks like to hustle and you've gotten comfortable a little bit and you have your fun little customers who place their reorders and you just package up their order real cute and send them a thank you text and send them a thank you card in the mail and you forgot what it means to hustle and meet new people and reach for goals. Sometimes you need to emulate the behaviors of your brand new essential consultants. 
because some of them are crushing it. Lots of them are crushing it. Here's a big one, okay? Here's a big one. Do what works. If you have something in your business and it's working for you, don't change it. Keep doing it. Put your head down and don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Do what works, okay? There are going to be seasons in your business where one thing works and it works hard. And so you go hard and you go fast with that one thing because it works. And then there's going to be another season in your business where that no longer works anymore. So you have to edit and you change and you find what works and you do what works. Don't spend your time worrying about what other people are doing. Don't spend your time worrying about reinventing the wheel. It's okay to perfect your craft in a way, but if something's working, you do that. Don't be worried about what other people are doing. Do what works for you and in your business and your circle, okay? There are things that we should all be doing and there are things that it's important to stretch yourself in and grow yourself in. But like, if online parties are working for you, don't stress yourself out about doing a home party. Because guys, let me let you in on a secret. PRV is PRV and it doesn't matter where it comes from. There's no one PRV that's more valuable than the other. So I don't care if it came from an event or a fundraiser or a home party or a basket party or an online party, you get paid the same. Who cares where it comes from? Who cares how you got it? It's all the same. Do what works and don't stress yourself out about things that don't work for you right now in this season. Don't waste your time, your energy, your love, your emotion on things that aren't working. If you have team members, okay, this is for all of you lead consultants and above. If you have team members that you feel like you are chasing and they're not responding to you or they're not working or they just don't get you or they don't jive with you, that's okay. That's normal. Don't freak out. Your life isn't over. Your business isn't going down the tubes. Here's my best tip I can give you. Go out and recruit new people. Recruiting is always the answer to any problem you have in this business, especially when it's a team related struggle. And you're going to have team related struggles for the rest of your career. It's part of the gig. It's how it goes. Here's my favorite phrase on that. It's recruit the many to find the few. Recruit the many to find the few. And the few are the ones who want to work like you. The few are the ones who will change your life and change your business. The few are the ones that strive for a thousand PRV or 2000 PRV or want to hit their goals. The few are the ones that respond to your messages or your mentoring or your coaching. Those are the few, but you have to recruit the many to find the few. Trust me. Trust me. I have recruited hundreds, personally recruited hundreds of people in my career. And I want to say today, right now, I've got like 85 or 90 frontline at this moment, something like that, maybe more. But even of that, it's a small amount of people that interact with me constantly or on purpose or that strive for big goals. Recruit the many to find the few. I think I recruited 100 people before I found my first director. That's just me personally in my journey. I know for a lot of you, some of you have recruited 15 people and found your first director. Some of you have recruited three people and found a director. It is what it is. But I'm telling you, the more people you recruit, the better your chances are of finding people who wanna work like you. Recruit the many to find the few. That's my favorite phrase when it comes to that. Um, next thing, have so many conversations. It sounds really simple. That's because it is really simple, but also it takes intentionality and hard work and bravery. Have so many conversations. I mean, so many that you can't even count. So many that you have, like you're going onto the next page and the next page and the next page of keeping track. 
have so many conversations, so many conversations and so much talking about your business is how you find hosts and recruits and expand your circle. It's how you build relationships. It's how you have customers who stay with you forever, have so many conversations. I mean, talk about Sensi all the time. I'm not saying be salesy and weird. I'm not saying be like, join my team for $99. I'm not saying do that. I'm saying have so many good conversations. I mean, don't stop talking about Sensi is what I mean. Don't ever have radio silence. Don't ghost in your VIP group. Don't peace out on your customers. Don't stop offering the opportunity to someone just because they said no. Have so many conversations. That's part of recruit the many to find the few, by the way, too. Um, next thing, when it comes to sales, does anyone feel like sales is a struggle or you feel like you want better sales or you could get better, you have a hard time stealing the deal, some of you, okay. In sales, sales are pretty good right now because people want their place to smell good, but here's how you can have even better sales. Something I like to call FAB, F-A-B. When you are presenting products to people, you need to present the fabness of the products. The features is F, A is the advantages and B is the benefits. That's how you sell products. You present fab, features, adva advantages, and benefits. So let's take our deluxe diffuser, for example, features of our deluxe diffuser. 30 hour runtime. Uh, seven different lighting settings, two different misting settings. Okay, those are very basic features. Advantages, uh, plastic, like can't be broken, super durable. Again, super long runtime, 30 hours, that's an advantage. Another advantage would be a limited lifetime warranty. It's a huge deal. Benefits. Uh, makes you feel good, makes your house feel like a spa. You don't have to keep filling up the reservoir every couple hours, kind of runs on autopilot. You can control the strength of your scent by doing like two drops or 10, it's totally up to you, completely customizable. Features, advantages, benefits. You should do that with every single product you ever present and do it in a short, simple, concise way. So when you're presenting a product in your VIP group, you're sharing a photo, you're talking to someone in person, you want to slide in the features, advantages, and benefits of each product. And the only way you can do that is by being a good consultant and knowing your stuff. See how these all tie together? Fab will help you have better sales, promise. Um, this is probably the thing I'm very best at, and that is outstanding customer service. Outstanding customer service. When I'm talking about outstanding customer service, I want you to think about how you would want to shop and who you'd want to shop with. <clears throat> when I'm talking about outstanding customer service, I mean anticipate their needs, send them samples, Tell them when their order ships. Send them a thank you text. I had someone today place a $318 order on my PWS. Now, I haven't had that happen in probably like three years. Okay, like that kind of size. I have random orders come through from Sensi.com or whatever, but never anything that size. It's been a while since something like that size. So I was like, yo, this is so awesome. That's a lot of money for someone to spend. So what did I do? I sent her a thank you text. I looked up her phone number and sent her a thank you text because it was from Sensi.com. She's local in my area. So I wanted to let her know, hey, look, I'm local. Next time you can come by, okay? And I'll be happy to help you package things or I can help you save on shipping or I can, whatever. But I also said to her, I said, look, you placed a large enough order that would normally qualify as a party so I want to offer you some rewards. I want to offer you $30 in free product and one half price item, which is essentially what she would have gotten had she placed the order directly through me as a party, right? 
What am I doing there? Am I eating the $30 and the half off right now? Yes, but what am I doing? I'm creating a customer for life. Do you think she's ever gonna shop with anyone else ever again? Heck no, she's not. I am cementing that relationship. I am setting this in stone that I'm her sensi girl forever because I'm being a good consultant. I'm telling her the truth. I'm giving her freebies. Okay. I'm also letting her know she can come by. I'm local or I'm happy to do porch drop offs. This is providing outstanding customer service. So it was not only just a thank you text, which is an incredibly important part, especially for those random orders or people you don't know, send them a thank you text to start building the relationship, friend them on social media, whatever. I've sent thank you texts and had no responses. That's fine too. But that's part of outstanding customer service. Also providing her something that's kind of rightfully hers, rightfully not, it doesn't really matter, but I'm giving her that. She's never gonna shop with anyone else ever again. I'm also gonna send her a thank you card in the mail with a free, with a sample and maybe a little bit of confetti, okay? That's outstanding customer service. I'm gonna send her a text and let her know when her order has shipped. Does she get an email from Sensi? Yes, she does, sure. But I'm gonna send her a text and let her know, hey, your order shipped. It's suspected to arrive on Thursday. I cannot wait to see what you think. I had a customer's order arrive today, and I know that because I checked her tracking information. And so today I sent her a text and I said, hey, I'm showing that your order arrived today. I wanna to make sure you are completely happy and in love with everything and that it arrived perfectly. That's outstanding customer service. You know what that also is? leads into my next thing, which is follow-up. That's also follow-up. Follow-up, 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 follow-up. You've heard it a thousand times, there's fortune in the follow-up, there's fortune in the follow-up. I can't tell you how many thousands of dollars in commission I missed out on for the first several years of my business because I didn't do follow-up and I didn't do it right. And I didn't do it well. And I didn't have a system. And I'm, I'm admitting that to you. I probably would have been a superstar director a heck of a lot sooner had I done follow-up. If I don't care what you do, I don't care if you do the Amy app, I don't care if you do pen and paper, I do not care. There are so many systems on follow-up. Look it up on YouTube, have a system and just do it. Do the follow-up. Follow-up is not scary. Follow-up is part of that outstanding customer service, letting them know when their order shipped, when it arrived, making sure they love everything, anticipating their needs and asking it for a reorder. This is all follow-up. Just do it. So much money to be made in follow-up. I have over 4,000 PRV this month, personally, right now, and over 3,000 of it has come from follow-up. Okay, once you have a customer, I don't care if you are 10 days old as a consultant, start right now so you're not like behind the eight ball. Like just start now, create a system, get with your sponsor, find out about a follow-up system and start doing it right now. If you have a customer who ordered today, perfect time for you to start a follow-up system. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. Um, follow-up, just do it. Next thing, have a VIP page. Have a VIP page. Huge business tip. Uh, two weeks ago, Tessa Snyder, VIP page extraordinaire, came on and shared all of her amazing VIP tips with us. It's on my YouTube channel. You can go to my YouTube channel and you can find it. Amazing, incredible, beautiful tips. She has big, huge, giant PRV, mostly from her VIP page. Um, but have a VIP page, just take the leap, just do it, just jump. Again, lots of PRV to be had there. Lots of relationships to be built there in a VIP page. Relationships are built there. All right, we're winding down here. Got a couple of things left. Um, if you are new, and you are introducing Sensi to your group of people, or if you're an established consultant and you're introducing Sensi to a new group of people who don't know about Sensi, my best tips is to sell them a full-size warmer and bars. I don't want people trying a mini warmer, okay? Because mini warmers just don't do what full-size warmers do. They don't. 
They don't. For someone to fall in love with Scentsy, it's the basics. Don't get me wrong, we have other amazing, beautiful things like diffusers and oils and fans and pods, but still to this day, our number one selling products are warmers and wax. Warmers and wax make up like 80% of our revenue. That's a lot. And for someone to fall in love with warmers and wax, they have to have a, they really need a full size warmer. Because a full size warmer is what makes your home full of fragrance. So what makes you walk into a room and be like, oh, wow. It's what goes down the hallway and goes into another room. It's the glut, right? It's all the things. Full size warmer. That sounds like a weird thing, but I promise you it's a really big tip to starting out someone with Scentsy really strong. Um, you heard me talk about this last week, but this is so true, guys. IPAs only. IPAs, not the beer. Income producing activities only. If it doesn't make you money, don't do it. Trust Jennifer. If it doesn't make you money in your business, don't do it, throw it out. It's fluff, it's wasting your time. Your time is a very limited and valuable resource and you have to spend it wisely. You cannot be spending it scrolling social media. You cannot be spending it organizing crap or designing logos, designing business cards, designing flyers. Like literally, do you guys like look at, I'm a superstar director and I use these flyers from Sensi. These are the host and join flyers. You know I use these? If you do a possibility pack, great, that's good. I don't even do possibility packs anymore. I give them a catalog and a join flyer. I'm like, here you go. It's everything you need to know is right here. I, I can't be spending my time doing that stuff anymore. Neither can you. Income producing activities only. And if you're gonna make samples, the only way that samples are income producing for you is if you do the follow-up after you hand them out. So if you're not willing to do the follow-up or you're gonna be lazy or you're not brave enough to do the follow-up, then don't waste your time making samples because there's no point in a box of samples sitting under your desk and there's no point in you spending money and sending out samples or making samples to give to people if you're not gonna follow up with them because people aren't gonna order just from samples. They're gonna order from you following up about the samples. Trust Jennifer. Don't waste your time and waste your money if you're not gonna like go all the way through with that. That's part of being a good, good consultant. What? Yep. All right, a couple other things and we're done here. Um, always consider your value proposition. Whenever you're having conversations with customers, team members, anything you do, you have to provide value. You have to be a person of value. If they don't find value in what you have to offer, they're not gonna come back. So always consider your value proposition. Every time you do a team training, this is why my goal with Rockstar Rally is like, I hope that you feel like it's worth your time every week because if you ever feel like it's not worth your time you're not going to come back right so i hope to provide you with value it's the same thing with you and your team it's the same thing with you and your customers with you and your hosts every time you have a connection or a conversation or a time that you're sharing you have to make sure you're providing value in some way keep it short keep it simple always provide value cut the fluff trust me Last two things, and these are things that are big picture, like I talked about building a big business. I'm talking in the thousands with paychecks in the tens of thousands. Um, just to let you know too, I'll include the income disclosure statement, results not typical, blah, 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 whatever. Results can be typical if you work and don't quit. Like, I mean, last month my paycheck was like $21,000. That's for one month. Okay, that's big picture. That's big business. That's what can really happen. What would you do with a $21,000 paycheck if that came into your life in one month? Like, what, what would your life look like? Would you quit your job? Would you build your dream house? Would you have a savings? Listen, I'm here to tell you that that is for you. It's not for someone else. It's not for someone else who has different skills or looks like whatever, or, I mean, seriously, that's for you. You just have to decide that's for you. You have to believe that that's for you. You have to set your mind right in the morning, first thing, and say, I'm going to take every opportunity that comes my way today because this is for me. Like, that's for you. That's not even my biggest paycheck. My biggest paycheck was almost $25,000.
for one month. And I think this month will probably be even bigger. Who knows? Like we do a lot in the last week. Everything changes in the last week of the month. So who knows? But like, here's the thing too, guys. I'm also not sitting around just collecting checks. I have 4,000 PRV this month. I have three new recruits this month. Okay. I'm not just sitting around collecting checks. That's not how you build a big business. That's not how you build a strong business. That's not how you build a business that pays you for a long time, that doesn't quit, that gives you the opportunity to take time off if you need it, that gives you freedom of choices. So you don't have to choose between sending your kids to daycare or keeping your kids home or like, oh, you have to homeschool your kids because the only places that are having school are private school and you can't afford private school. That's what like this, like these kind of checks can give you the freedom to either send your kids to private school or take a year off of life if you want and go on vacation and live in an RV. Like, I don't care what you do, but this is for you. This is not for the person next to you. This is for you. You have to decide this is for me. So these two things are really important for building a big business like that, in my opinion. You should focus on a huge active front line there's a major correlation between big, huge paychecks and large active frontline numbers. In order to have large active frontline numbers, you should strive to have 100 frontline. That means you personally recruit 100 people, ASAP. Don't wait, don't be like, okay, I'll get there in 10 years. No, there's no reason you, can, like, you can't get there in two years. What are you doing? That's not a 10 year goal, that's a two year goal. That's an 18 month goal. That's a, I'm heavily focused, dialed in because that life is for me and I'm going for a hundred active frontline right now goal. Where every day you wake up and you set your mindset right and you seize the opportunities and you have all the conversations and you recruit all the people and you recruit five people a month. Recruit the many to find the few because when you recruit that many people a month, you're gonna find the few that wanna work and those people are gonna change your business and change your life. 100 active frontline should be a very achievable, important ASAP goal for you. And with that big active frontline. Um, lastly, strive for 2K a month and two new recruits every single month. Don't be settling for 1500 PRV or 1000 PRV. You want to build a big solid business that pays you big paychecks, you should have a minimum 2000 PRV every month. And you might find other leaders who are going to say like, oh no, just do five, you know, I only do 500 to 1000 and look at me, I'm an SSD. Cool, that's good for them, but they can't ride that wave for very long because trust me, when you have 2000 PRV months, it means you're talking to enough people, you're having enough conversations, you're expanding your circle, you're doing parties, you're doing all of the things that you need to do to keep building your business. Because you don't just build your business and then like quit. You can ride that way for a little bit, but then your business will fizzle and die. If you wanna build a big, solid, strong business that pays you forever, 2000 PRV a month and two new recruits should be your goal every single month, like without fail. And honestly, you can take it one step further and go 2500 PRV because then you also earn the annual sales excellence award and you get a thousand dollar bonus every summer. And why leave that money on the table? Never leave money on the table. Never leave money on the table. If you can do 2000, you can do 2500. Trust and believe. It's about your mindset. It's about what you decide is for you. It's about if you decide that 2000 is for you or 2500 is for you. Your mind is your most powerful tool. And it's probably your most underutilized tool. And some of you don't realize how powerful your thoughts are and how much your thoughts impact your overall success or failure in your business. If I have had months that are not so great in my business, I can probably dial it back to a bad mindset. And a bad mindset is probably a result of either being overwhelmed or I've overcomplicated something and stopped simplifying something, or I added in fluff instead of doing IPAs, 
or I stopped doing basics like being a good consultant, providing outstanding customer service, doing the follow-up, wearing my Sensi goggles. I started doing other things where I got distracted by what other people are doing, right? When you are so consumed with what other people are doing and you stop like looking at your own business and your daily actions and what you are doing, you get overwhelmed, you get clouded. Trust me. And you stop deciding that this is for you or that you can do this or that you have what it takes or that you deserve this. Your mind is your most powerful tool. Guys, those are my best business tips. Those are the things that I've learned over the last almost 10 years. Remember, you are one person away from a completely different life. Just one. But the only way to find that one is to recruit the many. Recruit the many. I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>